Hey, internets. All right, quick video uh, to show you something that I've stumbled upon recently while working on the Pixel Geek community website. So if I go to my Mac, and um, as you can see, uh, this is a collection page. Okay, so collection pages, project showcases. So uh, you've probably run into the problem of, okay, I like the design I've done for this one collection page. Now, if I go to another collection page, like for example, this other collection page, which refers to data from a different collection completely, I just wanna be able to copy and paste everything into here or duplicate a uh, collection page. That is not possible in Webflow yet. However, there is a workaround that I stumbled upon. So check this out. If you go to the page that you like with the layout, and I'm going to command C for uh, copy, or you can right click on the section and copy it. And then go to your uh, destination page and watch what happens when I paste. Nope, not gonna do it because it says, hey, can't do it because things are bound, elements are bound to a different collection. So I'm not gonna do it. What you can do is create a blank new page, a bl sorry, a blank new website inside of Webflow and paste it in there. So this is a completely different uh, website. There's no pages, there's no styles, nothing. This is completely blank. I'm going to press paste, command V for paste, and check this out. For pasting cross-site, we had to remove CMS bindings. So all those things that you had to unlink, this method does it for you really fast, okay? And then from here, copy your section again, and then go back to your previous project and go to the page that you wanna paste on and then paste it. And there you go. All your styles are now here. However, there's one caveat. It will duplicate any existing uh, classes that you already have. For example, if this one had a class name of like say paragraph or something, and you already have one that's called paragraph, then it'll make it paragraph two. So it will duplicate all of your styles. Um, so things can get messy with CSS, but this is a faster way to do it. And it'll be up to you to clean up your CSS by changing the class name back to the original one, or you can just stick with it. It's up to you, but this is the workaround I found and you can just then start doing what you need to do, which is binding things to the data from that new collection, just like that. All right, uh, yeah, hope this helps. And yeah, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.